Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. This is the third video in a series in which we find a valid conclusion when we're given the premises of an argument. And the premises we were given were anyone who is not a monkey is happy, no monkeys are honest, the unkind are unhappy, no comedians are dishonest, and one can rely on kind people. So far, what we've done is first write each of those statements, each of those premises in if-then form. So we change them to be if one is not a monkey, then one is happy. If one is a monkey, then one is not honest. If one is unkind, then one is unhappy. If one is a comedian, then one is not dishonest. And if one is kind, then one is reliable. And then we identified the components in each of those statements and we gave each of them a symbol, a letter, a name. So P is going to be one is a monkey, Q, one is happy, R, one is honest, S, one is kind, T, one is a comedian, and U, one is reliable. Then we used those symbols to translate the statements into symbolic form. So we have the statements not P implies Q, P implies not R, not S implies not Q, T implies R, and S implies U. And we also wrote their contrapositives. Contrapositives are equivalent to the original statement. So when we're trying to make connections between the statements to draw a conclusion, it's helpful to have the contrapositive available so we can either use the statement itself or its contrapositive. And now we're going to actually use them. So in step four, we're going to create a chain reaction using original statements or their contrapositives. And then we're going to use the transitive property to draw a valid conclusion. We're going to create a chain reaction using either the original statements or their contrapositives and then use the transitive property to draw a valid conclusion. You can always start with any statement you want, and I'll prove that to you by doing this a couple different ways. And then you're going to follow it logically as far as you can, and then I'll show you what to do if you get stuck. Let's say that I wanted to start with the component P. So if I look through my statements, the one in blue, P implies not R, starts with P. And then I would have to, following on not R, find a statement that starts with the negation of R, which the one in green, the contrapositive version, starts with not R. So from not R, I could follow, it would follow not T. But then at that point, I would be stuck because there is no other statement that starts with a negation of T. I actually could draw a conclusion here and a valid one. Remember, P is the statement one is a monkey. Negation of T is one is not a comedian. So I could come to the conclusion that if one is a monkey, then one is not a comedian. And that's a valid conclusion. But I haven't used all of the facts. I want to see what conclusion I could come to that uses every single one of these facts if possible. So when you get stuck, what that means is you have come to the end of a chain reaction. So if you want to know if that chain reaction was actually longer, if it started way before P, what you can do is look in reverse. In other words, look at the contrapositive. Instead of ending with not T, start with T. So I'm going to start with T. T implies R in green there. And then I'm going to look, what can I do with R? Well, in blue, we have R implies not P. So I'm going to tack on not P. At this point, we've just come to what we where we were at the beginning when we started at P. But let's see if we can keep going now. So from not P, we can go to Q. And from Q, we can go to S and S implies U. And look, we have used all five of the colors, all five of the statements. Following a very long chain reaction by the transitive property, we can say that T must imply U. So since T was one as a comedian and U was one as reliable, we could say if you are a comedian, then you are reliable. Now let's say that you didn't start with P. 
to begin with. Let's say that you decided to start with Q. Let's see if we would get the same conclusion. In purple there, we see that Q implies S. Then we would see that S implies U. And then guess what? We would get stuck. While it would be a valid conclusion to say that Q implies U, in other words, that one is happy implies that one is reliable, that would be valid. But what we wanna do is use all of the information to come to a conclusion. So when you're stuck, reverse it. Think of the contrapositive. So think of not U implies not S. We're gonna begin with where we ended, but the negation of it. Then from not S, we can go to not Q. From not Q, we can go to P. From P, we can go to not R, and not R leads us to not T. All right, so we have that not U by the transitive property implies not T. If not U, then not T. Now U was one is reliable. So this would be if one is not reliable, then not T. And T was one is a comedian. So then one is not a comedian. All right, so let's see. That looks a little different than what we got before, right? Let's take a look. So in this case, we got if one is not reliable, then one is not a comedian. And previously we got if you are a comedian, then you are reliable. Well, notice that these are contrapositives of each other. Their order is reversed and their signs are changed. So in other words, they're equivalent and both answers are correct. And in fact, there are even other possible ways that we could state the same logical conclusion. For example, we know that if E then Q is equivalent to all P's are Q's. So another person could come to the conclusion all comedians are reliable. And that means the same thing. So lots of ways to state the final conclusion that uses all of the facts that we were given. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. You can also subscribe to my channel for more videos on logic. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.